हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अवर मटेरियल डिजाइन थ्री सीरीज विद जेटपैक कंपोज टुडे वी आर फोकसिंग ऑन एन इंटीग्रल कंपोनेंट सर्च सर्च इज अ नेविगेशन मेथड दैट अलाउज पीपल टू क्विकली फाइंड इंफॉर्मेशन अक्रॉस एन ऐप यूजर्स इनपुट अ क्वेरी इनटू द सर्च बार और टेक्स्ट फील्ड ऑफ द सर्च व्यू एंड देन सी रिलेटेड रिजल्ट्स Let's fire up Android Studio and see how we can create a search bar. Here, let's first create a new file. Let's use the search bar composable function, which comes with Material Three library. So, let's put these arguments on separate line. and these are the parameters we need to specify so first one is this query so this is the query text to be shown in the search bar input field and this on query change this will be invoked when user will input new text through the keyboard so here first let's create a state for query so here is our state and this is giving error so let's duplicate these imports and import this get value and this set value so this won't give error anymore so here let's use this query and this on query change let's update it with the new text which will come through the keyboard and then there is this on search so this will be invoked when user will click on that search ime action in the keyboard so here in these parentheses we can perform our search so for now let's use this print line statement so here for now i have used this print line but in the real app we can perform search with the help of this search query and next one is this active so here this is a state whether this search bar is active or not so for this again let's create one more state so let's use this is active state here and this on active change this will be invoked when this search bar's active state will be changed so here what we will do when this on active will be changed so here we will update our active state with the new value and these parentheses are for the content so for now let's leave and here this is asking for this opt in experimental annotation so let's use this and let's minimize these imports also so now we can use our composable function in the main activity so here first let's create a box layout and let's use that search bar and let's run our app and see this change so here is our search bar but this is placed in the center so let's align it to the top and let's run our app again so now let's click on this search bar so we can see this search window will open now here we can type something and when we press back button so we can go back to that inactive state so now let's see what more we can do so let's minimize this and let's go back to the file and here we have this parameter called placeholder so we can use this placeholder and let's use some text and apart from this placeholder we also have this leading icon so let's use that one also now let's run our app again and see how it is looking
so here we can see with the help of this leading icon we have placed an icon in the starting of this search field so here we can see with the help of this placeholder we have placed a hint text here and when we start typing something that hint text will disappear so let's press back now the next thing we will use a trailing icon so here let's use the trailing icon and let's use the if else condition so here how i have used this trailing icon let's minimize this if this search bar is active then i will use this icon button otherwise i have passed this null value so here in this icon button i have used this close icon so here when we click on this close icon so so here on this on click i have used this if else condition so if there is some query in this search field then first we will make this query to blank and then if this is already blank then we will make this active state to false so let's run our app again and see how this is working so here we can see this is not in active state that's why that close icon is not visible so when we click on this search field this close icon has appeared so now let's try to type something now when we click on this close icon first it will make this query blank like this now if i click again on this close icon so it will make this search text field inactive so let's click on this so here we can see this how this will work so what more we can do we can use more than one icons as a trailing icon so let's use a microphone icon also beside this close icon so for that let's minimize this and also this so here first we need to import a mic icon from the android studio asset library on this drawbell let's right click and this vector asset and let's click on this clip art so here let's search mic and let's import this one and let's rename it to icon mic and next finish so here we can see this is our icon mic so how we can use this so here so here how i have used this first i have taken this row layout and in this row layout i have used this mic icon so on this mic icon click we can do something like open a mic dialogs so user can input the search query through the voice and here i have used that mic icon from the that drawable folder here i have used this if condition if this is active then i will use this icon button so let's put this on different line now we can run our app again and see how this one is looking now we can see there is a mic trailing icon so here first let's minimize this now let's click on this search field so now we can see their close icon has also appeared when we type something so here we can see our search text field is working perfectly fine and also we can also click on this mic but nothing will happen because i have not used any functionality on this on click and when we click on this close icon so this search query will make it blank
वॉट मोर वी कैन डू इज दिस वी कैन पुट अ सर्च हिस्ट्री अंडर दिस सर्च टेक्स फील्ड फॉर दिस लेट्स गो हेयर एंड लेट्स मेक अ लिस्ट ऑफ सर्च हिस्ट्री so here for this list of search history we will use in this content so here in this list of search history i have taken the last three items so for each item we will use this list item to display these items so here in this item i have used this clickable modifier so when the user click on any of this item so the query will be the item on which user has clicked and this headline content i have used this simple text so here this leading content i will use an icon so for that let's minimize it and let's import another icon this one so here let's use that icon so now let's run our app and see how this one is looking so now let's click on our search field so here we can see the list of search history is showing so let's click on this material design so we can see it has updated our query with the selected item so we can see our search field is working perfectly fine so now let's close this and so let's minimize this also and here let's click on control b so here we can read the documentation so these are the things we can do in the search bar you can see how they have implemented this search bar from here and let's close this so apart from this search bar we also have another type that is dog search bar so here let's create one more composable function and let's put these arguments on separate line so all these arguments are exactly similar to that simple search bar so what we will do we will copy this code so let's copy all this code and paste here so instead of this simple search bar so let's use that dog search bar this one so again this is giving error so let's opt in this experimental annotation and we can see all everything will be exactly same so let's use this one also in our main activity so now let's see how this one is looking so this is our dog search bar so what's the difference so let's click on this search field so here we can see there is no extra search screen and this search field has been expanded here so this one is suited for the large screen where we don't want the user to go to the separate search screen so that's wrap up our look at search in material design 3 using jetpack compose if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below See you in the next one.